2009, we made history with the election of President Barack Obama. He called us to service, as there remains much work to do to end unemployment, poverty, and crime in our communities. There's so many books on how we can accomplish this, but this year, everyone's raving about this summer's hottest new book, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America by Chicago's own Emmanuel Barbie. A graduate of Northeastern Illinois University, Barbie addresses key ways we back our families and communities. But unlike so many other books on this topic, Barbie captivates his reader, presenting solutions through a riveting life story. It's entertaining, it's different, it's exciting. The perfect book club selection. Don't be left out. Get your copy of The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America. Order today at Amazon.com. Welcome to Help Stop the Genocide in American Ghettos podcast. I'm Emmanuel Barbie, the creator and host of this show. Happy New Year, Global Black Family and others. I encourage those of you who are new to this podcast, please subscribe to my Mixcloud page and to my YouTube channel. Also leave a comment in the comment section below and share this information with your friends. I do this show in order to network with everyone on my friends list, everyone in my social groups, and all of my international friends from around the globe. It's convenient because you can participate, listen, or watch this video in the privacy of your home. You would need to connect with me through Facebook Messenger, either as a voice call or as a video call. The phone icon is for a voice call and the camera icon is for a, a video call. After I'm done with my um, pep talk, I will open up the, the lines for Q&A. Before I go into my presentation for this, uh, this evening, I'm asking black Christians and Christians in general who are listening to this podcast slash video to please pray that God will allow the Illinois Secretary of State as well as the IRS to approve my 501c3 application this year so that I can move my virtual Christian socialist organization from behind a computer in Jesus name. Pray that God will connect me with angel investors and sponsors who will invest $400,000 into my film project so that I can hire a professional film crew and quality actors in Jesus name. Pray that my film will reach the masses and become a blockbuster nationwide and globally. In Jesus' name. Finally, I ask all of my Christian friends, as well as my secular friends too, to please purchase my revised book and help me get my book on the bestsellers list so that I can do all the things which I have written. In Jesus' name. I still have not made any money back from um, what I put into publishing my revised book. This is why I'm focusing on using my nonprofit to get my to get sponsors to help fund my film project. I'm looking for the following: a seasoned film crew such as sound technicians, computer graphic designers, assistant director, director of photography, camera assistants, hair and makeup artists production assistants, actors, comedians, dancers, models, musicians, poets, gospel singers, screenwriters, and secular artists. I'm determined to use this technology to help launch my urban Christian film and my black Christian business in Jesus and Yahshua's name. I'm encouraging everyone on my friends list who are from the art community, the faith community, the conscious community, and most of all, all of my group members who are serious about becoming a part of this film project, just send me your email address to my Facebook inbox so that I can have you on standby. We will teach our members how to walk in faith, create our own media, and change the narrative of our stories through films 
and stage plays in order to reach a new generation locally and throughout the African diaspora. Group members. The whole reason why I created groups in the first place um, is to connect with other like-minded individuals. I need you to do your part. It's not my burden alone, but a shared burden. For I, for I am just one black man with a vision and a plan. It takes a team to make a dream work. This is why I created my groups. Uh, to help, um, help me network with uh, other like-minded individuals and to help spread my book information. Um, the grassroots community activist movement is a global community of thinkers and builders. I need your help to move your cam from behind a computer into our urban communities that need our talents and skills. Together, we can tackle the hard issue facing the black community and work towards a more equal future for our children. I created GRCAM, the grassroots community activist movement, because I was fed up with all of the division among black people. Pan-Africanism was not working for African Americans slash black Americans. I wanted to start a new movement. So I created my first group on November 10th, 1991 on a site called Gopher. I wanted to help raise the awareness about the genocide which is taking place within our inner cities in America, starting in Chicago. I also wanted to connect with other like-minded African Americans, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Canadians, Afro-Caribbeans, Afro-Europeans, African immigrants, and Native Africans from around the globe. Our goal in 2020 is to take Grakam to the next level by producing our first film, quote, Hood Liberator Made in Chicago, The War Against Willie Lynch Begins. We will we hope to engage the black community and the public in direct action aimed at getting the word out about this film project. Hood Liberator Made in Chicago is a hybrid documentary based on my revised book, The Solution for Black America, Reclaiming, Rebuilding, and Restoring the Urban Ghettos in America, Second Edition. It will be a two-hour documentary about my experience growing up in the main streets of Chicago and my vision to start a new movement within the black culture called the Grassroots Community Activist Movement and turn this movement into a real black Christian business known as the Grassroots Community Activist Institute starting in Chicago. The most important message in this film is about my virtual Christian socialist organization um, GERCAM which is about global black unity, kingdom building, and black empowerment in the 21st century. While doing street ministry on the west side of Chicago, I, I encountered people from the conscious community, Hebrew Israelites, Moors of America, and Moravians. My focus was on helping street youth and broken black, black families by sharing my vision on how we as black people can improve our circumstances if we could only work together like other groups. For example, for example the Amish community and the Jewish community have a code they abide that they abide by to get things accomplished. We have to create our own economic and political base to rebuild our inner cities. This act alone will help turn around the black community. I believe that when we invest in our community, then a positive effect will spread through the community, making the black community making the black community better, healthier, safer, and stronger. This film is depicted, depicts my um, experience um, and my family, uh, how we were deprived of basic resources uh, and a constant struggle to survive in the midst of urban uh, violence brought by local street gangs who controlled the neighborhood. Institutionalized racism, failing the school system, police brutality, mass incarceration, and inadequate housing was all um, the, the situation I had to experience living in the inner cities. The only reason why I am applying as a not-for-profit is for credibility. 
I don't associate with criminals, nor do I associate with con artists. I, I am on the up and up. Truth be told, I would not have to make a film if black America would have embraced my revised book. But it is what it is. Once I'm able to, able to start my Christian business and get it up and running in Chicago, I will declare war on this Willie Lynch mentality within, the, within my business. So help me God. I will run my Christian business the way I run my home. Drama free. Life is too short to be going through unnecessary drama. So in this business, we're going to um, try to bring peace um, to the families that's going through all this crisis and that's being overlooked by uh, the American society in general. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute will push for a new code of conduct within the African American community, starting on the west side of Chicago and eventually the south side of Chicago. Your kind will focus on strengthening the black family while improving the black community. We welcome all Christian denominations, moderate Muslim, secular people, and non-black sympathizers. But before we, but before we allow guests into our business, we will focus on getting our house in order first. So in other words, we're going to mind our own business and focusing on um, solving black issues first and foremost. Um, the kind will cover economics, education, entertainment, politics, media, and spirituality. This is a solution-based film. The proceeds from the film will enable me to purchase property in the black community and hire black middle-class professionals to assist me and Sister, Sister Renee with the daily operations of this Christian business. Gokai will work directly with single black families that want to utilize our programs and services. We will teach our members how to walk in faith, create our own media, and change the narrative of our stories through films and stage plays in order to reach a new generation locally and throughout the African diaspora. Yahshua has given me a Pacific instructions to go beyond the four walls of the church by making an impact in the economy or the marketplace. The Kai mission is to eradicate urban violence in Chicago through our programs and services, to tackle poverty, institutionalize racism, and police brutality within the communities we will serve. We will, we will um, promote economic opportunities in the African American community by being a community advocate and resource for our members. Um, we want to strengthen, strengthen the black family by working directly with single black mothers, single black fathers. We will offer youth services to children and young adults by provide, providing them with stipends to, to uh, be in our films and stage plays and music videos based on our budget and sponsorship. We will offer a second chance program for ex-offenders, for nonviolent crimes, um, former gang members and homeless individuals within the community. We will create a sense of national urgency about the genocide which is taking place in our inner cities in America, starting in Chicago. We will achieve this through journalism, social media, and public forums. And all of our work, we we will strive to educate and enlarge our audience of concerned citizens who care about solving black issues once and for all in America. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute will take the lead in the marketplace by creating community co-ops, community grocery stores, and eventually community housing. Grakai will pay black women the same amount we, play, we pay black men, offer a consensus-based decision-making, offer um, a livable wage, and establish a worker-owned cooperative for our members. Gurkai uh, objectives are, are on two fronts, domestically and internationally. On 
the domestic front will focus on rebuilding Black Wall Street in our inner cities in order to create Black-owned businesses, promote our arts and culture to generate prosperity within the Black community. Rakai will offer literacy, literacy uh, programs, visual art programs, and life, life skill workshops to empower and mobilize um, generations and Black millennials. On the international front, we will provide an African plan. Africa is our ancestral homeland, and we as Black people throughout the African diaspora need to go back and, and help sh share our knowledge, talents, and skills in order to put Africa back at its rightful place in the world. My goal is for Afri for my African family is to unite with like-minded African um, with like-minded uh, uh, Native Africans who will be in agreement with me and will be, be willing to work with me in, ter in terms of turning my ideas into a reality. I don't have another 28 years to waste. It's my hope to recruit African immigrants in America to assist me in expanding my Christian business in 10 African nations. They are as follows. Liberia, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Angolia, Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Ethiopia, Tanzania, and Uganda. I encourage my African friends to push, to put, to put pressure on, on their governments to allow us, us to have citizenship within three years. If they are serious about us doing business on the continent. We as black people must move away from being tribal. I encourage my African friends to share my book information with your family and friends who reside in Canada, Europe, and in the United States. Encourage them to purchase my book so, and, and for them to come forward to work with me and Sister Renee in Chicago because I want smart boots on the ground. Um, we will go through the proper uh, channels with their governments to start the Grassroots Commun Community Activist Institute of Africa as an NGO, a non-government organization. We will offer private employment to our members based on our budget and sponsorship. We will provide infrastructure for clean running water, roads, and agricultural technology to feed the people, as well as offer solar energy to help our members with their electrical generators, and most of all, we will help improve the African economy. That's our focus. In time, we will expand to Brazil and Pacific places in the Caribbean islands, such as Barbados, Bahamas, Haiti, and Jamaica. The Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Africa will be an effort to assist the, the, the diaspora in, a, in the ability to shop, shop with, visit, invest, and even uh, relocate back to, Af to Africa. All of our products and services will be provided by skilled and professional Africans from around the continent. It's important for the diaspora to make the connection physically and economically. <coughs> the Kai of Africa will be there to help arrange um, uh, your your travels, welcome you upon arrival, and assist with tours, translators, and more. The time has come for a new movement, showing the world the best of black culture since the civil rights movement. It's time for black people in America and Africa to become totally liberated and set free. And through this film, I hope that's what uh, we can do. My vision is about improving the inner cities in America as well as in Africa. We plan to make Grikai a multi-resource company with creative writers and storytellers through our visual arts program. Grikai will be committed to financial, financial literacy, ed education, spirituality, and visual arts. 
that promotes life skills. The kind will provide exposure for artists, authors, bloggers, and black entrepreneurs. In doing so, Gurkai will shape a, a new generation of writers, thinkers, philanthropists, and innovators. Literacy is a fundamental building block for general education. A literate society helps meet the complex demand of an evolving nation. Our ability to learn, work, and prosper is based heavily on the ability to read. Gakai will provide technology, professional development, and digital curriculum to support and improve access to literacy and learner, learner readiness uh, programs and services. Gakam represents the new black voices of media, and we are using the internet to broadcast our views and, con and connect with other like-minded black people from around the globe. My book is just the beginning. What I want to be remembered for is trying to build something positive in the black community instead of complaining about the white man, career politicians, and the government. Once I have my management team in place, then I will start the Grassroots Community Activist Institute of Chicago. Gakai will offer an interactive space for like-minded African Americans, African immigrants, Afro-Brazilians, Afro-Caribbeans, all Christian denominations, black millennials, moderate Muslims, and secular people who will work with us in turning my ideas into action. Gakai will operate under five separate functions within the African American community. Those functions are a social service component, a spiritual component, which will be optional for secular people, a political component, an entertainment component, and an entrepreneur component. Now that um, political component, that's going to be under our for-profit uh, service-based business. So, because um, the way that how these financial needs have it set up, you can't um, technically be a non-profit and being political you know, because, again, they just want to try to call the shots on everything. And, but um, that's how come part of Gakai would be non-profit and the other part would be a for-profit service-based business. Because we're going to do this thing right. It's my hope that the Grassroots Community Activist Institute will become an infrastructure for Chicago artists and black entrepreneurs. I believe having our own platform is essential to the low low income African American community and our collective future. We believe that quality education is the foundation for a successful community along with an economic and a political base. In order for me to accomplish this project, I need your help. My goal is to mobilize my true supporters to come forth and and become a part of this film project. In Chicago, I need smart boots on the ground. If you are serious and able to travel to Chicago for our open auditions, then please send me your email address to my Facebook inbox and be on standby until I'm able to get the green light from the IRS to move forward in getting my film fully funded and made. I agree with Yvette Carnell and Antonio Moore, founders of ADOS, American descendants of slavery, that black Americans are old reparation. But unless we as black people unite as a group and create our own economic and political base, just like the, the Amish community and the Jewish community, then our racial group as a whole will remain, will, will become a permanent underclass. And that's, that's just the truth. So, um, just um, telling, um, you know, black African Americans or black Americans, um, if the uh, Democrats don't um, give us, um, rep put reparations on the table, that we won't vote, that's not really no real leverage because we are only 12% of the population and um, we don't have any real leverage. 
we have to aim for uh, economic um, base as well as a political base so that way we can have lobbyists to um, advocate for us uh, on the political front so that way we will have some real leverage. Our first black president gave us false hope that change has came has come to, in America. The, yet the black community is still under attack due to urban gentrification, which means people that have a higher income level can take over an existing black district because of an increase in rent, rents and property value. Our current black leaders has failed us. For example, the Congressional Black Caucus are more interested in fighting for illegal immigrants in America while overlooking black issues in the black community. The financial elites are funding their their operatives because they depend on them to deceive us into a non-action just because they are uh, putting um, black faces or having uh, black people to represent us. Uh, Congresswoman Maxine Waters um, is the representative for California's 43rd Congressional District. She is fighting tooth and nail to help advance the cause for illegal immigrants in America while again overlooking a large amount of black homeless people in her district due to urban gentrification. Same thing with late Congressman Elijah Cummins, who was the representative for Maryland's 7th con Congressional District of Baltimore. His, di his district it was and still is has a high unemployment rate and as well as a high crime rate. But he used his political position to help advance the causes of illegal immigrants uh, in America as well as um, focusing on impe impeaching Trump while again ignoring his uh, black constituents in this, dis in this district. The time has come for, for a smarter black America. And you can be a part of this new movement, showing the world the best of black culture since the civil rights era. It's time for black America and Africa to become totally liberated and set free. And again, that's what, what I hope to um, pro project through this film, as well as um, through the business. 28 years I've been reaching out to Brothers and sisters, I was unsuccessful at reaching them. I reached out to my family members, but many of them was um, just chucking and jiving. So that's how come I want to make sure I have people that's, um, you know, that's serious about what I'm talking about. Again, I don't have another 28 years to waste. Uh... So, uh, the Grassroots Community Activist Institute will be dedicated in serving the black community. The Kai will be membership, uh, membership base committed to helping our members build, build their businesses by increasing, um, by helping promote um, black entrepreneurs who will connect our members. Um, through networking events and things like that. Um, well, there's a lot. There's a lot of more stuff I want to say. Um, let me see. The kind would help support a vibrant and resilient black community through our innovation, education, research, and quality programs, which will benefit residents uh, in the black commu community on both the west side of Chicago as well as on the south side of Chicago.